Hey everyone, welcome to our Jewel Crafting Leveling Guide. What I'll be sharing with you today is what you need to do to quickly level your Jewel Crafting from 0 to 50. That is enough for you to start also crafting rings that you can equip on your secondary Jewel slot when you unlock it. So let's start. Since our objective here is to reach level 50, we will need to accumulate 11,125 experience. The station we'll be using is the Outfitting Station, and you will find the jewels under the Trinket section. Being level 0, the only jewel type that you can craft are the amulets. Rings are only available after level 50, earrings after level 100. So, you will see that every amulet uses the exact same crafting components. The only thing that changes between them is the gem they use. The other components are one chain, one gem settings, and one precious metal ingot. The chains and the gem settings are also made at the same station, under the crafting components section, and just require precious metal to be made. In our case here, we will be always using silver. Each amulet itself gives 192 experience, but we need to also account for the experience that comes from the subcomponents. Each chain grants you another 15 experience, and each gem settings another 12. Therefore, the total experience for each complete amulet is 219. So, in order to get to level 50, we will need to craft 51 of them. And for that, we will need 51 chains that require 255 silver ingots or 1020 silver ores, 51 gem settings that require 204 silver ingots or 816 silver ores, another 51 silver ingots that require 204 silver ores. So you will need in total 510 silver ingots, or 2040 silver ores. In addition to that, you will need at least one uncut flawed gem. And in order to cut that gem 51 times, you will need 102 modes of the type that your gem requires in order to be cut. So to summarize, what you want to see on the storage before we start crafting are the 2040 silver ore, whatever uncut flawed gems that you have, and the 102 modes that you require to cut those gems. You may be wondering, why just one gem if we need 51 amulets, right? And there is where jewel crafting is interesting. When you salvage one of these amulets you will craft, the resource you will get back is the same flawed gem you just used, but uncut. So you just need to cut the gem again, and you can reuse it to make another amulet. Okay, so just in case you don't know, in order to cut a flawed gem, you just need to go to the stun cutting station with the uncut gem and two modes. The mode type that you will need depends on the gem that you are cutting. For example, the Malachite uses Soul Mode, the Carnelian uses Fire Mode, and so on. If you don't know where to find those modes, check my gathering playlist, I may have already added guides on where to gather each one of them. On the other hand, if you are not sure where to get the Silver, I already have a guide for Silver near Everfall, the link will be on the description. And the gems, you should be able to get enough while just gathering the Silver, since they are just a rare drop that you can get when you mine a node. Once you got everything, the process is very simple. First, you smelt all the silver into silver ingots. Then, you cut whatever gems you got at the stun cutting station. After that, you go to the outfitting station and craft the 51 chains and the 51 gem settings. With all that, you then craft as many amulets as you can with the amount of gems you have. Then, you salvage those amulets and get the uncut gems back, then you go back to the stun cutting station to cut the gems again, and then go back to the outfitting station to craft more amulets. And there you go, now your jewel crafting should be level 50. In addition to that, you have gained over 18,000 experience in smelting, 6,000 in stun cutting, and a bunch of experience in mining. Great, right? So that's it, as always, if you enjoyed this kind of content, consider subscribing, it really helps the channel, and I hope to see you on the next one. Take it easy.